Hi everyone. Recently I've seen many comments asking for a video about this jig that I've used to grind many of my recent knives. And really I made this very simple one just to see if it was handy and my plan was to make a better one if I was going to use this jig often. But before I build a new one I want to show you how this wooden one is made. So here you can see that there are only two M12 bolts on the back side that go all the way through and these two bolts set the angle of the bevels and can be locked with the nuts on the top because on the bottom side there are other two nuts embedded in the wood and finally the blade tank can be simply screwed on the front side.
So at this point I decided to make a 3D model of what I was building in Fusion 360. I made the two plates, the hinge and the threaded rod that is going to be part of the locking mechanism. Now that I was able to see well how the rod was moving, I designed this part to lock the position of the rod with the help of two nuts, one on each side of the blue part. And I made also these two extra parts to provide a flat surface where the nut can grip well. Now here I'm making a plastic base for the jig with an IKEA cutting board in the hope that it will slide better on the steel base of my 2x72. The worst thing about the wooden jig is that it is a pain to hold well, so for this one I designed a big handle and to make things more interesting I decided to add a void in the model to house an M6 nut instead of 3D printing the strut directly into the plastic. And I did so because I think it would be stronger this way. I printed this to handle in ABS to try acetone vapor smoothing, so here you can see me setting up all the necessary. The idea here is that acetone vapors will melt the surface of the plastic, and by doing so it should leave a very smooth and glossy finish. With other models I had great results with these techniques, but this time I wasn't really able to get it super smooth, I think I've left the handle in not long enough and maybe I should have used more acetone too, I'm not really sure. And at this point with all this 3D printing stuff I got carried away a bit and decided to design my own nut instead of using two wing nuts. The only reason here is that the gears like shape rolls much better than wing nuts so it should be faster to adjust. And again I decided to make a void inside the model for an M8 nut so it could not fall out of the gear anytime. 
Here you can see if software setting to pause the print at a defined height. So the printer will pause when it's time to add a nut and then after you press a button it will continue to print the rest of the model. Time for the final assembly. At the end I spray painted the two steel plates to help prevent rust and I also had to notch the corners near the hinge to add self-locking nuts. <laughs> 